Sophos Endpoint provides unparalleled defense against advanced cyber attacks. Airtight ransomware protection and a comprehensive defense-in-depth approach stop the broadest range of threats before they impact your systems, while powerful tools enable your team to detect, investigate, and respond to sophisticated multi-stage threats with speed and precision. In this demonstration, we'll showcase a ransomware attack and response. On the left here, we see our victim's machine, a Windows PC. On the right here is our attacker's machine running Kali Linux and listening for active sessions. Now, in order for this attack to have any chance of working, we're going to need to turn off a bunch of protection on the endpoint. Normally, tamper protection would be turned on so that the user can't just get into the settings here to turn features off. So we're going to need to disable a bunch of runtime features here, basically everything except ransomware detection. So this machine is now really vulnerable, and of course, this is not recommended. Time for the attack. It's a simple, straightforward phishing email with a poisoned attached document. Now, as the user, I'm surprised to have received a flight itinerary, given that I haven't booked a flight, and human nature being what it is, I open up the attachment, and by doing so, I let loose a zero-touch exploit. Now, notice on the right-hand side here on the attacker's machine, opening up that malicious document has spawned a session. I, the user, confused by the cryptic document with the info for the flight I didn't book, now close the document and exit the email program. There's too much to do. There's no time to worry about that weird email given that my TPS report is due. It's in pretty good shape. It just needs a title. So I'll enter that up here at the top and save the document. Now, as the attacker, I want to take a look at my active sessions here. Looks like I have one connection to a Windows machine on the hook. I'll start an interaction with that machine. I can look up the user ID here and see that I'm logged in as that user. Great. That means I can run my encryption payload. So let's get some ransomware doing its thing on my victim's machine. Back over on the user's machine. Notice how the documents start changing one by one to .owned files. They're being encrypted one by one. After a handful of them have been encrypted, however, the CryptoGuard feature and Sophos endpoint notices some suspicious behavior. In this case, the malicious rapid fire encryption of user files it stops the encryption and rolls the files back to their previously safe states. It also kills the connection to the attacker's machine. Notice on the right-hand side that the session has been closed so that the attacker can't try to pull off any additional attacks. The endpoint agent pops up to tell the user that it's blocked a ransomware attack on their machine. The attacker checks again to see if there are any active sessions. Nope, the previous session has been killed. On the user side, let's check that TPS report. It's been restored to its safe state, and better yet, this isn't an old copy from hours or days ago. It's got the title that was just added moments before the malicious encryption event. Okay, so all is well as far as the user is concerned, but putting on our admin hat, we need to figure out what just happened. We're now in Sophos Central, our web-based admin console, and we've navigated to the Threat Analysis Center. We want to dig a little deeper into how the attack unfolded, so let's head to the Threat Graphs section. We can see the attack that just happened here, and when we click on it, we get a visual representation of what happened. We got a broad overview up top here, the computer that was affected, the app where the attack started, the root cause, the programmer process that carried out the actual attack, the beacon, and so forth. We've also got a quick summary of the attack and some suggested next steps. But the threat graph is where we can really dig into the attack. We've got the full graph by default, but the direct path option is the quickest way to view the attack as it unfolded. In this case, Outlook was the root cause, denoted by the red dot. Outlook opened the document using Microsoft Office, specifically Microsoft Word, which opened it as an HTML app, which opened a command prompt to kick off the attack. And then we've got a series of PowerShell actions. These are likely when we saw all those documents being encrypted one by one on the user's machine. It ends with the beacon event here, where you see the blue dot. This is the point that CryptoGuard convicted PowerShell and stopped the attack. So the first thing we're interested in is this poison document. We can, for instance, now search the email system to see if other users were affected. If we find this document on other machines, 
we can use Sophos Email's clawback feature to remove the document from our users' inboxes. We can also use Sophos XDR to query the machines across our estate for this document to see if and how far this attack has spread. Back in the full graph view, we can see the attack in more detail. There's the root cause again, and we can follow the path through to the beacon event. Let's zoom in a bit on this section, specifically the point where we start seeing PowerShell come to life. We can click on PowerShell here to get more details of the process itself, including the command line. We see that the command line here is pretty heavily encoded, which isn't a good sign. We also see that PowerShell connected to an IP address here, which is helpful because we can use that IP address to investigate a bit further, perhaps do a search for it to see if it's associated with known malicious attacks, for instance. We can also look at the file reads, which shows us that six business files were read. Most of these we saw being encrypted on the user's machine. And indeed, if we come back and look at the file writes, we can see those .owned files that were opened, written over, and renamed during the malicious encryption event. So just a little digging, we've quickly uncovered three important elements. The email attachment to go search for, the IP address of our potential attacker, and exactly which files were involved in this particular attack. That's a look at how Sophos Endpoint's CryptoGuard technology stops a ransomware attack and how easy it is to quickly investigate the attack after it's been stopped. Thanks for watching. Stay secure.